Be Quiet has just bought out the new version of their water cooler, the Pure Loop 2, and this is the FX version, which has got a few improvements as well as RGB lighting. The front of the box looks like most traditional Be Quiet boxes. It's black, you've got an image of the actual product, it tells you it's a Pure Loop 2 FX, and it says impressive light and superior coolant. This is the 240 millimeter version. There is also a 360 and 280 millimeter version available as well. And this is classed as their essential model. The back and the side of the box tells you about Be Quiet, tells you all the specifications on there, developed in Germany. Then it goes on to the back, which tells you about the doubly decoupled PWM pump as well as the light wings 120 millimeter pwm high speed fans as well as a radiator and all the rgb information it's got also got a qr code on the other side as well let's have a look at some of the highlights and information so the pure loop 2 fx is a very high performing and silent all-in-one water cooling unit with impressive illumination for slightly overclocked systems the highlights is high cooling performance it's up to three light wings PWM high speed fans offer equally high air pressure and vibrant illuminations. Obviously, depending on the water cooler you're going for, if you're going for the 240 millimeter one, you get 220 meter fans. If you go for the 280 millimeter version, you get two 140 millimeter fans. And if you go for the 360 version, you get three 120 millimeter fans. It's got doubly decoupled PWM pump. God, try and say that twice as fast. Doubly decoupled PWM pump for quiet operation and minimal vibrations. You've got an ARGB PWM hub enable synchronization of up to six ARGB components and fans. Combination of ARGB illumination, all black design, aluminum style, blah, blah. It's easy to access refill port uh, and including coolant bottle guaranteed long lifespan. It's got a nickel coated coal plate, allows optimal use in liquid metal thermal compound three year manufacturer's warranty and the product concept design and quality control is in germany okay so inside the box first of all we've got lots of plastic packaging near enough everything had its own plastic wrapper around it with the exception of the manuals they're not going to win any awards for that on top of that You've got the cooler, we'll have a look at that in a few seconds, as well as the two fans, which we've looked at in the past, which are the light wings, which is the high speed mode ones. You've got the controller there, which you'll obviously be able to stick in your case with this 3M tape. Obviously, you'll plug in your RGB lights as well as the fans into that, so it takes up less connections going to your motherboard. You've got two packs of screws, which are both wrapped in plastic bags as well. And another plastic bag with about a million other plastic bags inside it with all your different fittings. You've got a manual and another piece of paper, which the writing's that small and so forth. I'm not even going to bother reading it. But all that, in all honesty, could be done with a QR code on the box. And then you've got the extra coolant, which you can add to the cooler at a later point. You don't need to do that now. This is for basically the coolant when it's evaporated after, let's say, a couple of years, you can fill it up. Okay, let's have a look at the actual radiator pump and water block. And when I say pump, you might notice that the pump is actually built in on the tubing as well as the cable to power it rather than built into the actual CPU or water block itself, which can have its advantages and disadvantages depending on how you prefer your looks, which does mean the cable comes directly from there and will have to plug into your motherboard from the tubing. So it might be an extra cable you've got to sort of hide or one less which you have to hide from the cpu depending on how you look at it the cpu block does have the argb controller or should i say cable there which would go then to your controller at obviously around the back of your case or however you've got it hidden it doesn't come with any fans built on obviously you attach the fans which we've got just over there however you like so you can have them in a push pull configuration depending on how you've got it mounted on your actual machine so if we look at the actual radiator closely you can see you can fit two fans there pretty straightforward you've got your real refill point here again you don't need to do this out of the box don't go trying to refill it now it's mainly designed after a couple of years if you've seen your performance drop or the cool inefficiency then it might be time to fill it up in a couple of years time it's very rare in all honesty that ever needs to be done but you have got the ability there if you do wish Otherwise, the radiator looks pretty standard, nothing really to write home about. It does have quite a thin space between all the actual fins on here, which could mean a good airflow, or should I say a slightly restricted airflow, or it could also mean 
because there is a lot of things in there that air is going to pass over it and you've got a higher surface area so it depends on which way you look at it the actual water block itself or the cpu block it does have a sticker warning on the bottom you do have to apply your own thermal paste on there so let's just peel that off oh, it's on quite well and as you can see that is very shiny apparently this is nickel plated and yeah i can see that it is very 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 shiny obviously you'll attach your own fittings depending on how you're going to attach it to your motherboard and so forth but it gives you a rough idea now the top of the actual cpu cooler does have the be quiet logo on it and then you've got sort of a ring around the edge which is going to be where your rgb is so obviously that's going to light up however you set it up on your motherboard or your software okay here we've got the fans pretty straightforward 12 centimeter fans you've got rgb ring around the edge which you can view sort of from the side as well not from the behind though they've got sort of a ribbed effect on there these are the light wings we've looked at them in the past these are the high speed models i think they go up to about 2500 rpm maximum they've got anti-vibration bits in the corners pretty much what you'd expect to see on most fans to be honest and they did come out pretty good in our testing here we've got the fan slash RGB controller or should I say a RGB controller it takes a SATA cable to power you've got the ARGB header if you wish to attach it to your motherboard which I suggest you do and you've also got the PWM fan connector which will connect to your motherboard as well which usually connects up to the cpu header on your motherboard where the one coming from the pump usually goes up to the optional or you may have a specific one for a pump or whatever on your motherboard every motherboard's different if you're not sure double check your manual but basics is you've got on this side you've got three connections here for argb headers and you've got two fan headers on that side on the opposite side you've got three ARGB and two fan headers there and on this side you've got option for a, another two ARGB sorry two fan headers there as well so it can support up to six RGB devices all together as well as fans so if you wanted to hook up your case fans into it depending on how you set up you can do it if you wish down to testing we use the i7-12700K as the processor of choice we did testing at 50% fan speed which also includes a pump as well as 100% fan speed and pump speed testing was done on Cinebench running for 30 minutes we got the average and the maximum temperatures and as you can see here the average temperature of the be quite pure loop 2 came in at 79 degrees which was quite a bit warmer than the arctic liquid freezer 2 and the spc navis now the maximum temperature again came in a lot hotter so 15 degrees difference between the pure loop 2 fx and the arctic liquid freezer 2 which is a big difference don't get me wrong it didn't thermal throttle it worked fine but bear in mind this is with the fans running at a set 50 percent speed as well as the pump the spc navis came in about 10 degrees cooler as well on this next test we do basically the same thing again it's the average temperature over 30 minutes but this time the fans and the pumps are running at 100 percent so flat out and you can see here the pure loop 2 fx does actually meet the arctic liquid freezer 2 at 70 degrees so both performing pretty well there the spc navis actually came in at four degrees cooler though so it did perform very well but saying that the be quiet don't get me wrong while it is a little bit warmer it does perform actually pretty well now on this next test we check the maximum temperatures this is the maximum the cpu got, got up to and as you can see the six degrees difference between the Ar arctic liquid freezer 2 and the be quiet pure loop 2 while it is a little bit hotter it still gives you a bit of headroom so you should be able to overclock especially if you're using a lower end processor let's just say an i5 processor or even an older generation like 10th 11th generation processor should give you plenty of room for overclocking but just bear in mind if you're thinking of using this on something like an i9 it's going to really struggle especially on a 12th gen decibel levels over the room levels are 37.4 they're all very similar to be honest within a margin of error between 13 and 11 decibels over 37.4 and again that's when the fans are all running at 100 percent fan speed so in conclusion is it a good cooler well yeah it actually is it might not have performed as well as the liquid freezer 2 or the spc cooler but it does look hell of a lot better in all honesty you've got those rgb lights 
on the actual CPU block, as well as on the actual fans as well. And you can sort of see the fans at an angle, so sort of like sideways on, and you can still see the lights lit up. So from near enough from any angle you've got this on your PC, you should be able to see some of the RGB effects. One thing what I would have liked to see would be an actual proper RGB controller rather than the hub what they've included. That hub's okay, you can attach lots of things to it together, but you still can only control the RGB via your motherboard software or another controller if you have one. So I would have preferred to see a controller with maybe a remote control where you could change the RGB lighting yourself from outside of the case. But otherwise, I can't complain too much. But otherwise, as I said, it does everything it says on a tin. It might not be the coolest, but it performs well. It's got plenty of overclocking potential there. And, well, it looks nice. So I can't do anything but recommend this product. If you're interested in watching more Be Quiet products, then click this box up here and you'll be able to see other Be Quiet reviews we've done in the past. Otherwise, if you're looking for a different cooler, whether it's air or water, why not click this box down here and you'll be able to see other air coolers and water coolers we've reviewed in the past. Otherwise, we'll see you next time, but don't forget to click that like, subscribe and comment below. Thanks again.